During the Second World War, many Allied soldiers were taken prisoner in Asia by the Japanese army. They were forced by the Japanese and Korean guards to build a railway through Thailand, a story made famous by the film The Bridge Over the River Kwai. Cyril Doi was one of those soldiers and he's been speaking to the BBC about the horror of those camps and how he managed to survive. It looks like an ordinary iron railway bridge, but its past makes it a symbol of the brutalities of war, of human suffering and human heroism. The Japanese wanted to build this railway through Thailand of several hundred miles through virgin country, through uh, mountainous country, through jungle, through rocks, and we were the means of them doing it. We became the white coolies. We left civilization and became uh, into another world for almost four years, as it turned out, in the end. At that time, of course, one uh, just simply hated people who did that sort of thing. In fact, if you could have uh, had a rifle, you'd have shot the lot. I was at a place called Tamakan, where we built the bridge over the River Kwai. We would be on these routes chanting, you know, Itchini Sansi Rugus the Hatsi Kuju. That was Japanese up to ten, and you'd do that all the time then. Racked with malaria and dysentery, eaten away with tropical ulcers and dying of cholera, the starving prisoners dragged themselves each day from the camps to slave under the burning sun. If they flagged for a moment, there were the guards. For many, death was a happy release. I had uh, splinters from these shells in my leg. The scar started to break down and uh, turn into a big ulcer. Major Arthur Moon of the uh, Australian medics put me on a bamboo table and uh, without anaesthetic he uh, cut up my leg and uh, he pulled out a great big tendon <laughs> like that <laughs> and and uh, of course that saved my life but the men in there one next to me uh, he was covered with these ulcers terrible he was and he was delirious and he was full of maggots. And I remember, remember him dying next to me. I could see the flies coming out of his mouth then. The whole length was built in the incredible time of only 14 months. Every mile of the railway cost 400 human lives, and every fourth sleeper represents the death of a man. Of the Allied prisoners, more than 16,000 died, of the Asians, no one knows for certain, but the estimate is nearly a hundred thousand dead. You never give up because you want to survive. It's as simple as that, wasn't it? <laughs> you always had in the back of your mind that at some time you ought to be free.